I don't think it would be a surprise to anybody if I told you that condo prices have significantly increased in the past decade. But when I was trying to think of an idea for a new video, I posted in the community tab of this group and I asked you, the viewers, what you want me to talk about. And there was a lot of great ideas and I'm going to get to each and every one of them. But the one that stuck out to me that I'm making today's video on is what specific area of Toronto has appreciated better, downtown or midtown? Because if you look at Toronto right now, price per square foot for condos, there's not a whole lot of difference from Young and Eglinton all the way down to the water, west to Liberty Village or east to St. Lawrence Market. So obviously building by building things change, but overall they're pretty much all the same. The only times when you're really finding discounts used to be at least when you would go west to Mimico, but those prices have very much caught up. Or if you go as far north as Young and Shepherd, but again, those have caught up as well. So all the areas have done well in terms of appreciation, but downtown versus midtown, which was the better investment. Just before I break down the numbers, I want to let you in on a little contest that I'm running. So I'm calling it the race to 5,000. So once we hit 5,000 subscribers on this channel, I'm going to give away a $500 Amazon gift card to one of you. So if you haven't subscribed already, please do so on this video and also give it a like. Also, my name is Tom Story. I do run a real estate team here in Toronto. If you want to book an appointment with me, first link in the description, buyer consultation, seller consultation, or just a call to chat about real estate. We should classify the exact areas that I'm talking about in this video. Video. So when I say Midtown, what I mean is an area called C10. That's how we classify it in our MLS system. C10 is Young Street to Bayview. It goes a few blocks past Young and Eglinton North, and it goes south to about Moore Park just past Davisville. That's where the biggest cluster of condominium buildings is in Midtown Toronto. And when we focus on Downtown Toronto, we're talking about C01. That means Central 01. That's going all the way down to the water. We're going west all the way to Dufferin, kind of the end of Liberty Village. We're going north all the way to Bloor, and then we're going east to Young Street. And the other downtown location we're talking about is C08. Now, C08 is east of Young Street, basically to the DVP. It also goes north to about Bloor, and it goes south to the water. C08 includes neighborhoods like the Distillery District, St. Lawrence Market, Cabbage Town, uh, King Street East, great area in downtown. So what I did to try to figure this out was break down the last 10 years of sales. And the numbers that I'm using in this video is April from every single year so far. Now, the reason that I chose April is that historically, April is the highest average sale price month each and every year. Also keep in mind that C01 downtown just has way more options. So there's more data available where sometimes C08 or C10 had less sales just because there's less build buildings. So that sometimes could fluctuate the information that we're looking at. And for these examples, we are using average price, not median price. So if there was a huge sale that sold over $3 million, that would skew a bit of the data for that month. But I think when we're looking at 10 years of data here, it's going to be fairly clear. So let's first get started with C01. I'm going to show you on the screen here. So C01 in April of 2021, we had an average sale price of just over $800,000. Now, if we take a look back to 2016, our average sale price that then was $487,000. That's a five-year trend of 64% increase in $314,000. So that's obviously a really big jump up in prices in the last five years, over $300,000 and a 64% increase. And when we take a look at C08, it's not that much difference. So if we look C08 at the April of 2021, we had an average sale price of $743,000. In 2016, it was $460,000. So that was a 61% growth with a jump up in price of $283,000. So it's clear so far that downtown had a ton of growth, but what's really interesting about the downtown core is that C01 was up 64% in the last five years, but it was up 98% in the last 10 years, but a ton of the growth happened for all the property types and locations that we're talking about today, actually in the last five years. And same as C08, in the last five years, it's up over 60%, but in the last 10 years, it's up 84%, but still a chunk of that growth happened really in the last five years. Now we gotta give Midtown some love. So when we look at Midtown condo prices, in April of 2021, the average sale price was $757,000. If we go back five years in 2016, the average sale price was $580,000. So that's showing me that the five year trend was about a 30% increase. Or if we break it down, just over $175,000 of average sale price. If we go all the way back to 2011 and look at the 10 year trend of Midtown Toronto condos, we actually saw a price jump up about 49% 
and that equated to about $250,000 in value. So what this has taught us so far is that in the last 10 years, the downtown core has appreciated at a rate that has been faster than Midtown Toronto. Midtown Toronto has been building up a lot. In fact, if you go to Young and Eglinton, it's starting to look a lot more like Young and Bloor. So I think Young and Eglinton is a great area to buy investment properties. I hope you found this video valuable. If you have any questions about it, please put them in the comments below. I would love to know what you think about this because honestly, I was a little bit surprised. I thought they'd be fairly similar, but downtown really came out in the lead here. Thank you so much for watching this video. My name is Tom. Tom's story and remember home is where your story begins.